and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be ordering a reading from two psychics and I'm also going to order a reading from two astrologers. What I'm going to do is I am going to ask these psychics and astrologers the same question. This question is going to be what career is best suited for me? I do know my chart configuration like the back of my hand and I know exactly what my chart says when it comes to what career is best suited for me and what career I need to follow in life. However, I'm just interested to see if these psychics are legit. Can they state or guess the career I'm in or are they going to be totally off? I want to see the same for the astrologers. Can the astrologers guess the career that I'm in or are they going to be totally off? So I'm going to have a look on Fiverr and I am going to order these services now. Okay, so I'm on Fiverr and I'm going to first search for my psychics. Okay, so I see some of these psychics have a lot of reviews. Like some of these psychics have like a thousand plus reviews. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a psychic who has a lot of reviews. They have done a lot of readings. They've got a lot of accreditation. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get a psychic who has almost no reviews. So basically a brand new starting out psychic. Okay, so here I found a psychic. She's got 1,680 reviews on Fiverr. Wow. Okay, so I want to see what she is going to say. Okay, so I placed my order with my first psychic who has over a thousand reviews. So I'm just gonna say hello there. I would like to know what is the best career suited for me. Okay, so I'm going to ask her, I would like to know what is the best career suited for me and how do I get into this line of work. Thank you so much. Okay, so I just need to let you guys know that this psychic knows nothing about me. I made a Fiverr profile under a completely different name to my usual Illustrology profile, so they have no idea who I am, they, have, they know nothing about me, so the information they're going to get, I'm not sure where they're going to get it from, but like I said, they have no clue as to who I actually am. Okay, so I have sent my question to my psychic. Okay, so let's look for our second psychic. This time I'm going to look for a psychic who has no reviews and they're basically new in the game. Okay, so I found my second psychic. She is a brand new psychic on Fiverr. She has no reviews and she just basically offers a reading where she answers something for you. So I'm going to ask her the exact same question that I asked my previous psychic. Okay, so this person is asking for a photo, name, date of birth and country of birth of the person of your liking. I'm going to use this photo because I feel like this photo is a photo where I do not look like myself whatsoever. Um, I usually do not look like this and this is kind of me out of character. So I'm sending this photo to see what she will say. Okay, so I'm saying to this person, hello there, I would like to know what is the best career suited for me and how do I get into this line of work? Okay, so that is our second psychic. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, so now I'm going to look for my astrologers. I'm going to get two astrologers. One is going to be an astrologer with lots of ratings and one is going to be a brand new astrologer. Okay, so it looks like I found an astrologer who is quite well reputed on Fiverr. This person has 153 reviews. This is a Vedic astrology person. Okay, great. So I am going to proceed with this order. Okay, so I have given this person my birth info and I'm asking the same question. Hello there, I would like to know what is the best career suited for me? Thank you so much. Great, so let's start this order with our first astrologer and let's see what he is going to come up with. Now I'm going to find my last astrologer and this is going to be an astrologer who has almost no reviews and almost no experience. Okay, so I found a person and let's see what she comes up with. 
Okay, so I have my order for my second astrologer ready. Date of birth, time of birth, place of birth. I should probably add my country in there for her. <laughs> And then my question, hello there, I would like to know what is the best career that is suited for me and how do I get into this line of work? Thank you so much. Okay, let's start this order. Okay, awesome. So I now have four orders. Two of my orders are from my psychics and two of the other orders are from astrologers. So like I said, I already know the answer to this question myself, but I'm testing the waters to see Who's going to be more accurate? Are the psychics going to be more accurate or are the astrologers going to be more accurate? So let's give it a few days and let's see what happens. Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm back and I am ready to see what my psychics and my astrologers came up with. Okay, so this is my first reading that I received from a astrologer. So I asked them what career would be the best career suited for me and this is what they came up with. Hello, first, law can be very good for you or anything that defends rights, defends people, has to do with justice, etc. Second, you need a more independent type of work. If you can, you should be your own boss, not an employee. Please be careful because you might, let's say, miss your career because of others, because you listen to other people and don't do what you really want. So please go on your own way and let others say whatever. You go on your path. Also, work with foreigners or in a foreign country is also beneficial for you. Or if you get your own business, for example, try to make it international. It will be really good. But this is the most important thing. Try to be independent, be your own boss because the boss thing suits you. You can really manage things and others. Thanks so much for your order. Okay, great. Um, in all honesty, I completely resonate with this um, reading. Everything they said here is quite spot on in my opinion. Um, firstly, the law part of it, I do agree with. I am a person that is quite hectic about justice. A lot of what I do is very focused around defending people, being in justice and bringing light to certain situations. Secondly, it says I must have an independent type of work, which is completely spot on. I cannot do a nine to five job at all. It says I must be my own boss and not an employee, which is also completely spot on. Then it says, please be careful because you might, let's say, miss your career because of others and you listen to other people. So go your own way and let others say whatever you go on your path. That's so spot on because when I wanted to become an astrologer, so many people were telling me, no, don't be an astrologer. It's a bad choice. It's not a good choice. And then... I just didn't listen to them and I went my own way. But it was very tricky for me to go my own way. Um, I was basically this close to listening to what other people were telling me and following their advice, but I didn't, luckily. <laughs> so then it also says work with foreigners or in a foreign country. That's also quite spot on, I'm not gonna lie. All my clients and all the people I deal with are from other countries. They're actually not from the country I live in. And then they said, the most important thing, try and be independent, be your own boss, the boss thing suits you, and you can really manage things and others. That I would say is spot on. I really, really do feel I function best in an independent work setting and when I'm actually able to just be my own boss. Okay, so the next reading is also from an astrologer. This is from a Vedic astrologer. So this astrologer uses Vedic astrology instead of Western astrology. Let's see what they come up with. My question, I would like to know what is the best career suited for me. As per your chart, you are best suited to be in research oriented jobs. You have strong Mercury in 8th house and also Scorpio in 10th house which shows you're good with analysis and investigation type jobs. You have sharp intellect and analytical mindset with accuracy too. Anudara star has propensity for numbers and statistics as well. 
You also have 11th Lord Jupiter in the 10th house, which means you can get into advertising and marketing. You have good people skills as well combined with clear communication. Combining these factors, you can be a market research analyst and get into sales. You'll have good success in identifying trends and patterns. You have a gift of classifying raw data and information and arriving at valuable precious data. Another thing is you have excellent understanding of people's behaviors and psychology, which is why you can succeed in this field as well. So you can understand intention of people and be proactive for any organization. A challenging and intense job is needed for you over a routine one. Another career I can see for you is teaching or counseling as Jupiter also rules your 10th Navamsa. You have very good talent in advising people and you can also transfer knowledge to others. So any subject you are good at, you can teach the same even if it is not a main job. You can also take up fashion and designing if you're interested because you have a flair for decoration and design as well. So you can be good at a good home decorator as fourth Lord Venus is in your seventh house. A business related to home or interior design can be very good for you. Tenth Lord Mars is also in Chitra Star, which is good for designers. Whatever you do, you must never tune in routine desk jobs as you will tend to change jobs often. You need some emotional connect with your work to keep going. You have ability to do both technical and creative work. It says I'm very good in research oriented jobs. Now that is very true. Then it says I can get into advertising and marketing. I have good people skills and good communication. I could be a market research analyst and get into sales. Okay, now I understand what he's saying here, but I am going to disagree a little bit because I am terrible at sales. <laughs> I cannot do sales to save my life. I am not a very good people person, so I like people, I like communicating with people, but I'm not very good at convincing people to buy something or convincing people of things. So there, I would say not too um, accurate. However, what he is very, very good at in that interpretation is the clear communication. That's something I'm very good at. I can communicate very well. Um, I can also identify trends and patterns, um, statistics I'm very good at, that kind of thing. So yeah, he is on the right track, but when it comes to the sales and market research analyst, I wouldn't really say he's on the right track with that because I really don't feel like I have a knack for sales. Okay, moving on. Another thing is you have an excellent understanding of people, behavior, and psychology. That is very, very true. Okay, another career I can see for you is teaching or counseling. Okay, yeah, that's also true. Um, it says I'm good talent on advising people and transferring knowledge to others. Yeah, I could see that. And then the last one is fashion and designing. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I I don't think I've got a knack for fashion and design, but I've never really explored it, to be honest. So I guess if I had to try and see, maybe I could be good at it. Um, it's not something I've explored. It's not something I've looked into. But I'm not really going to know unless I've tried, I guess. So I'm not going to say that this person is wrong or right with this interpretation. But it's something I don't really, um, it's something I don't really resonate with that much. But and on the other hand, I am quite good at things like graphic design. So maybe if you look at it that way, it can be true. But in terms of fashion and interior design, um, unless I've actually try and figure out if I've got a knack for that. I haven't noticed that I do. Okay, and then he says, whatever you do, you must never choose a routine desk job as you will change jobs often. I have to have an emotional connect with my work. Yeah, that is very true. Okay, so this is a reading from a psychic. I'm actually very curious to see what they say, what they come up with. Let's get into this. When I was feeling into this matter, the first thing I got was a message from your guardian angels, also known as spirit guides. These spirits are with you your whole life and watch over you. They told me to give you this message. 
Dear Danelle, don't let anyone tell you what you can't do. Don't underestimate your intelligence and abilities. In the future, there will be lots of opportunities for you. Meanwhile, try take better care of yourself. I also got the feeling you should be more mindful of what you're eating on a daily basis and also your eating habits. It's important now to take care of yourself and try and relax more. Now the matter of your career. Personally, I believe that you grow into a career as you develop in your personal growth. During a lifetime, there are many options and job opportunities you can take. Which, which one is best for you? You can only say afterwards when you actually did the job. When I look at your face and I feel your energy, I feel you have the potential to go international. I feel that South Africa is not the best place for you to stay the rest of your life. The career path I get for you is a function in human resources. This sector has a lot of levels you can grow into. For example, you can start as a recruiter, finding the right person for a specific job, or you can go as far as becoming an HR manager in a company. I have found you the site that you can look further into. Okay. I feel you're organized, loyal, wanting to help people, and also a sensitive person. However, you are still developing into your personal growth and soft skills. My advice for you would be to go international. You can start as an au pair, nanny in Germany, the Netherlands, or Belgium. Also, you can become an English teacher almost anywhere abroad. This is one of the steps you can take to develop yourself more and broaden your horizons. The world is your oyster. My prediction is that at the end of 2021, the corona crisis will be over and traveling will be made more easier by then. There are also programs for foreign students and if you want to study abroad, I heard that an education in Sweden is entirely free and studying in Belgium is less expensive and good quality. It may sound like a lot right now, but just remember, do not underestimate yourself. You can go far. I wish you the best luck of your journey through life, Danelle. Okay, so firstly, she starts out my reading with a little message from my spirit guides or my angels. Um, and it's quite a lovely little message. I will definitely keep that message um, in mind. <laughs> um, and then she says, you should be more mindful of what you're eating on a daily basis and your eating habits. Um, take care of yourself and relax more. Okay, so I feel like that's very random <laughs> because I really do take care of myself really well. I really do eat very, very well. I eat a very balanced diet. I relax quite a lot so I kind of feel like that's a bit random I don't know where that comes from like I don't really have any issues with my eating habits um, like I feel like my eating habits are actually very good right now okay anyway moving on the matter of your career um, then she says when I feel your energy it's potential your best potential is going to national South Africa is not the best place for you okay there is some truth to that, definitely true. Um, even in my other reading, I had my other astrologers say that I must work in an international setting, I must work with foreigners, um, that kind of thing. So yeah, she is quite quite accurate in terms of that. Um, South Africa is not the best place for me, very, very true. Um, in terms of like work and my profession and my career, South Africa is definitely not you know, the best place. Then a function in human resources. I did find this to be quite random. <laughs> um, like as a recruiter, um, I feel like that's a little bit off from what I actually do. Um, if she's hinting that I'm good at dealing with people, I'm good at understanding people, I'm good at understanding people's strengths, their weaknesses, their value, that kind of thing, then I can kind of understand what she's saying here then maybe in a sense, yes. However, HR manager is not really up my alley. It's also not really something I would ever see myself doing. Okay, then she says here, um, if I want to go international, I can start as an au pair and then I can start teaching. Okay, so that is also something I do kind of disagree with. One thing I have to say is I do not like working with children. So any kind of career or work field that involves me working with children is not going to work for me. Um, I get what she's saying in terms of, cool, I must go international, but becoming an English teacher or an au pair, no, that, that is not going to happen. 
that is not who I am and that is also definitely not where my strengths will lie. I feel like she is a little bit off when she says that. So all in all what her reading is saying is I must go international and basically work in human resources. Maybe start out as a nanny or a teacher or au pair or whatever the case is. Okay so firstly she kind of started on the right track when she mentioned okay I must go international. Um, that kind of thing which I totally agree with. But the path she went down further on with the human resources and the au pair and the English teacher, I feel like that was a bit of a incorrect interpretation because like I said, I will never be able to work with children <laughs> no matter how much I get paid, no matter what opportunity I get given. Um, it's very tricky for me to work with children. And then on the other hand, human resources, uh, maybe... I guess she was kind of on the right track with that because I like people, I like helping people, I like getting people on the right track in their life. Okay, and this is a reading from a psychic, which is the second psychic, and this is the last reading. So this is what the psychic says is best for me. Hey there! I feel like writing in some way would be the best career choice for you. Blogging, and even doing YouTube work? <laughs> what? No. Or something along those lines I feel would be very good for you, as I feel that you're someone who has the ability to get people to listen and take notice when you need them to. I feel that because of this, you'll have the ability to gain a following, and I feel that you're someone overall who has a lot to say. <laughs> So using writing as an outlet or a way to get your message across and also make a living doing so. Thank you for purchasing my gig. Let me know if you have any follow-up. What? No way. Like there is absolutely no way. How does this, how does this chick know? Like how, how, how does she know what I do? This is ridiculous. I. I'm completely dumbfounded right now. What? She says writing. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm a writer. That is my income. I get my income through writing. And then she says YouTube work, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My mind is literally blown right now. Okay, like, psychics? I guess you're real. Like, I don't even know what, what to think right now. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Did this chick know? There's no way this chick could have Googled me because I literally made a completely different Fiverr profile. So, like, the Fiverr profile I made is not even, like, linked to me, like linked to astrology whatsoever. So these people, there's no way, there's literally, there is no way any of these people could have figured out who I am. There is no way they could have found any information out on me. I mean, literally, my email address I made this account with was a new email address. Like, I'm literally so freaked out right now. Okay, five out of five. So Baby Sweets on Fiverr gets 5 out of 5. She is spot on. Okay, so she obviously didn't say cool astrology or spirituality, but I mean that is the most specific reading I've actually gotten. Like she literally mentioned the writing, the blogging, I have my own blog, I have my own website where I write, I write for clients, and then she says the YouTube work. Oh my goodness, this is too much. <coughs> this is honestly too much for me. Like, how? I need to know how. How does she know this? This is so specific. Oh my goodness. And this is a psychic. This is a psychic, you guys. Like, she doesn't know my birth details. She knows nothing. She's a psychic. All I say to her was... Please just tell me what career is best for me. And she came up with this. Like, this is crazy. The weirdest part about this chick for me is I didn't send her my birth details. I didn't send her a picture of me. 
whereas the other people asked for a picture of me or they asked for my birth details. This is the only information I gave this chick. She said, please be a specific, I'm not a mind reader, um, blah, blah, blah. All I said to her was, hello there, I'd like to know which career is best suited for me. How do I get into this line of work? Thank you so much. That's the only information I gave her. And then she said this, which literally blows my mind. Oh my goodness. Guys, go get a reading from Baby Sweet. She knows what she's talking about. She, I could probably say she's a legit psychic. I don't know how she figured this out, but she's probably the most legit psychic I've ever come across in my life. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is me purchasing readings from psychics and astrologers on Fiverr, asking them the same question and seeing what they came up with. Like I said, that psychic at the end really blew my mind. I have no idea how she came up with that information. The other three, they did a really, really good job. The other psychic was a little bit off. Whereas the second psychic was the real deal. So if you guys are looking for readings from psychics, there are legit psychics out there, I can definitely say that, but you just need to be careful. Obviously it's tricky to find the real ones from the not so real ones. Then in terms of the astrologers, they were all really, really good with their readings. They all came up with really, really accurate information and that's usually how it works with astrology. Any person who knows their stuff when it comes to astrology will give a very, very accurate reading when they read the astrology for a person. So on the other hand, it's also a good idea to maybe just go see an astrologer if you have some questions. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video, if you have anything to add. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more astrology and spirituality videos. And I've also added the link to my Patreon to the description to this video if you want to become one of my patrons and see what that is all about. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.